with our special guest, Pam. What do you have to say to the world? Hi. He. So, Pear, how do you feel coming back from sleepaway camp? Epic. Epic. Guys, Pear has been away for like a while, so yeah. And I think we're just gonna do some NFL talk today. So, my first question is, do you think you can solve this soccer puzzle? But no. <laughs> Age is four enough. All right, that's besides the point. So, our first topic is, you're a Chiefs fan. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you know this, that Kelsey uh, punched a man. Oh, he did he? I, Yes, he did, one of his teammates. I saw that. How do you feel about that chemistry going into next season, Pear? Um, it, it, uh, it, it, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's not very good for the Chiefs' morale, atmosphere, pickle, poop. So, like, I, yeah, I don't think it's that good. All right, this is first time on the podcast, so he sounds a bit, bit rough. But that's fine. <laughs> All right. Very thing. So, um, do you think Aaron Rodgers will work? Like, uh, like, do you think this trade, all this talking will be good? Do you think the Jets will be good? Do you think they're going to work it out with Rodgers? Rodgers, personally, me, the Jets are my second favorite team. I mean, I'm a fan of this Rodgers deal. I think they're going to do better. When all their players are getting better. So I do think they're going to get better. But as a Giants fan, I think we're going to have a lot of different answers. Well, I I think that it depends how good Aaron Rodgers is against their division. Because the one that they're in is very good having the Bills and the Dolphins. <laughs> so good teams to go against. Okay, I, I, I love that point there. I think that's an interesting point. So, yeah, he might. That's some good thought. And the Giants. Actually, they signed, they signed Saquon. Yes, Do you think they're going to be good? So I watch on your channel. You predict them to be 10, 10 and 7, which it might be a bit high, but I, for Giants, we're going to draw a compensation. I think that's a pretty good pick. Why do you think they're going to be 10 and 7? Well, go, they just have a great morale, and uh, I'm going to one of their games, so therefore I they're going to go ten and seven, and uh, and so uh, yeah, it just being like their their team has gotten much better in the past year with Daniel Jones starting to improve at being a player. Saquon Barkley has been signed, so he's not going to be upset. And their wide receivers are uh, uh, not the best, but he's got so a good batch of new players and Paris Campbell, Camp which I'm excited about. And their defense last year proved that they had a pretty good defense. So, yeah, that's what I think. Now I'm going to talk about my Buffalo Bill. Now, my are a very, very interesting team. You know, you know, sorry, got distracted. Okay, got distracted for a second. Pretzel has just arrived off the bus. Yes, he might make a guess. Okay. But besides that, the Bills, you know, I think they're going to do good. I think they're going to do really good. I think they're going to do, I just do Stamari Hamlin and stuff, my boy, a bit. But I think this Stefan Diggs and Josh Allen, you guys all been doing a bit, but I don't know if they're going to win the chemistry or not. They're all both as much better. They're doing good in training camp, Josh Allen. Doing that every day, every minute, every hour, every second, every millisecond, every caterpillar a second. 
So, yep, caterpillar is like I think just Bill's gonna make a, a nice push. Despite their division, who's scared of the Patriots? So that's. Uh, yeah. I am. That's it. I mean, I might be worried about the Dolphins, but I think they're good. If I, I, if I saw the record, without seeing the record, I'll just say um, maybe. Without seeing their own competition, I'll just say they're gonna go 12 and 5. That's it. Some other next things. So we're gonna get our opinions next up on um, running back number thirty-three, Dalvin. Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook not signed yet. Visited the Jets. No Patriots. I think the Bills. Uh, I think the Dolphins or that just teams. Interesting. So where do you think he's going? Uh, Dalvin Cook. Judging by all the running backs not getting signed for a really long time, like. Saquon only got one year, so not, not that much. Um, but anyways, uh, Delvin Cook, I don't think he's going to get signed. He's he's just too old for that, yeah, that and he doesn't great. need a new team. I think he's just done. His years are over at football. I mean, that's an interesting take, because that is what happened with OBJ last year. He's just done! But then the Ravens signed so, him. So, then the Ravens signed him. So, something like that could happen. That's an interesting take. I have not heard that take. From being in C-Play, that's all really good. Like, you, your mind is fresh off the dining table. So, for me, I mean, I got to have him sign. The Bills just my two favorite teams. I have a good chance of getting him. But I think he's going to the Dolphins. I just do. Didn't he, like, post a Twitter picture of him at the Dolphins? Like, stadium? Maybe. I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> I actually think it's either that or the Bills. Because I think he does. I mean, that or the Jets. I know, I don't think he'll go to the Bills. Even to play with his brother, James Cook. Who's another running back for them. But the thing is, Bryce Hall, Dalvin Cook wants to be a starter. So if he goes to the Jets... Brees Hall is um Brees Hall is going down to the secondary running back. So, yeah. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> okay. So yeah, that's my take on Dalvin Cook. And um yes. So next up. We have, next up we're going to talk about another running back. Hasn't been um, brought up a lot recently. We're talking about, we're talking about Ezekiel Elliott. I know. <laughs> okay, Ezekiel. All right. So, he just got, he didn't sign yet. It's weird. Um, the running back. Tony Pollard is going to have a breakout in my opinion. But Elliot, now what you said with Dalvin Cook is what I'm saying for Ezekiel Elliot. Mic drop. I think that I I agree with uh, I agree with him because just running back isn't that valued <laughs> position right now anymore. So I don't know if he's gonna get signed or not, uh, but there's just not many running backs getting contracts. Okay, I mean, as a Mississippi Cardinals fan, oh, I'm sorry, I mean, as a Giants fan, yes. All right, so <laughs> besides that. Now, next up is, okay, so we didn't plan this. Uh, okay, it's okay. This is supposed to be nice and not organized podcast. This should be good. Good podcast. <laughs> so next up, we're going to talk to you about is the Super Bowl. Mm, 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 mm. Match up. <laughs> My take on the Super Bowl 
So obviously from the NFC, we're getting um, Eagles and my vote is either a rematch um, of the Chiefs versus Eagles and or a uh, Bengals Eagles matchup. But Eagles, I think, are definitely going to the Super Bowl. Maybe the Bills, possibly the Bills. It depends how good they actually do. And I would say the Jets are a contender, but I don't think they're more of a chicken contender. Yeah. A chicken tender. I don't think they're actually going to make it, but they have a, the skill set to make it. Or from the NFC, we could get the 49ers. Both, uh, both teams. Cincinnati. Alright, next. Yeah. Bengals will be making this 
Have you guys been watching? I just started. It's, the, it's about the Jets. It's like uh, about their off season. They do it every Enjoyed.